A huge shakeup in college basketball tonight. News broke this morning that Arizona assistant coach Emmanuel Richardson had been arrested in an FBI probe. He's one of four coaches accused of taking bribes to influence players in signing sponsorship contracts. And Mike, Mark McClune is in studio tonight. This is this is big news. Yeah, big news, and I don't even think the fallout from this has even begun. There's yeah. many layers of this, a lot of money, right. teenagers, kids, agents, and just kind of a sick cyclical uh, process. And we're just getting started with the fallout. The Wildcats were a potential preseason number one team in the country. Once again, bringing one of the top recruiting classes in the country. Now, what would bring some of the best basketball players in the world and in the country to Tucson? Turns out a scandal that could rock the foundation of college basketball. Today, we announce charges of fraud and corruption in the world of college basketball. Emmanuel Book Richardson has been Sean Miller's secret weapon, recruiting top-level talent from the East Coast to Tucson. They play for one another. They play together. Um, they, they look out for one another. Richardson is among 10 charged, four college coaches, and the director of global sports marketing for Adidas. Richardson was arrested for allegedly taking $20,000 in bribes to pay a recruit to commit to Arizona. College coaches took cash bribes from managers and advisors in exchange for directing players and their families to those bribers. Managers, advisors, and those affiliated with the sportswear company work together to funnel money to families of some of the country's top high school recruits, upwards of $100,000. The University of Arizona releasing a statement that reads in part, we are appalled to learn of the allegations as they do not reflect the standards we hold ourselves to. The athletic department suspending Richardson immediately with pay, saying the behavior that Richardson is accused of does not reflect the principles of this athletic department. All right, Wildcat coach Sean Miller was set to meet the media in Tucson on Wednesday for Media Day, but Media Day, guys, has been postponed, and I think we're just getting started with this. When yeah. I was a kid, SMU football was my favorite team. They got the death penalty. Now, the NCAA has said uh, they, they would never do that again, suspend a team for an entire year, but you hear lack of institutional control a lot in NCAA infractions. This is almost lack of institutional control in all of college basketball. Yeah. It extends east to west, shoe companies, agents, uh, it's just a mess. We came off the Final Four that was just such a fun time here, but you just wonder what was going on in the back channels in the back room. It happens in every sport. You go back yeah. to USC and Reggie Bush. Absolutely. It, the NCAA essentially gave yeah. them the death penalty right. as well. They have survived clearly. They said that never happened. Uh, yeah. But I think we were just talking, mm -hmm. you know, as the story was running, I, I think the debate needs to be had and perhaps a story, a special report needs to be done about why some of the star athletes in, in, in college sports, how they are not able to benefit or profit from this while the NCAA and the networks are yeah. just making hundreds of millions of dollars on the backs of these teenagers. Yeah. And rights fees keep going up. And they're looking at the coaches and the, the people who are giving them these kickbacks, right. but I want to know what's going to happen to those players. Right, too. exactly. Well, right. we'll right. see. We'll see if they're going to be ineligible. I mean, if, wow. if there's guys that have taken money, I mean, that's Huge. the NCAA does not even need to investigate. It's now. interesting that the university yeah. takes this stance, but the university also putting the pressure on the coaches to win. Right. Exactly. Can't yeah. have it both ways. No. Been a yeah. while since they won the championship. Yeah. My right. freshman year right. in college. Yeah, we'll see. It's we'll see what happens when the, when the season starts here in Media Day, <laughs> when they finally have it. Yeah, thank Mark, you, Thank you very Mark. much.